Hey everybody, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use Seafoam spray to clean the carburetor intake on the 65 Impala. Unlike our modern gasoline fuel-injected cars and trucks, this car has a carburetor, which is a little bit different, but the system's still the same. This is a great system for those of you with old classic cars like this. All you need is a can of Seafoam motor treatment, a can of Seafoam spray, and a scissors. Before we get started, we're gonna treat the tank with a cleaning dosage of Seafoam motor treatment. Now we're ready to add our cleaning dosage. A cleaning dosage is anywhere from two or more ounces per gallon. This tank has about eight gallons of fuel in it right now, so we're gonna add a full can. Now remember that Seafoam is made from highly refined petroleum. You cannot harm an engine and you cannot add too much to fuel. In fact, the more seafoam you add to fuel, the better it cleans. So by adding seafoam motor treatment to the fuel tank, the seafoam is going to work to clean through the carburetor passageways. We're all done here. Now we're ready to show you how to clean the intake. With seafoam in the fuel, now we're ready to get our intake cleaning started. We need a hot intake to work with, so we're going to warm up the engine. I'm just going to start it up and let it warm up for at least five minutes. All right, we got our engine warmed up. Our intake's hot and ready to go. Now I just need to access the carburetor's intake, remove the air cleaner. Now remember our scissors, this is the hook straw that comes with a can of seafoam spray. We use this for throttle body intakes. I'm just gonna cut this off so I got about seven inches of straw to work with. Okay, we're all ready to go here. We've got our engine running, the intake's hot. I'm gonna run the throttle with my thumb at about a thousand RPMs over idle to draw the seafoam treatment. I just insert the straw into the carburetor's throat. I'm gonna spray the whole can. It's gonna take about four minutes. It's gonna be running past the intake valves and through the chamber area. All right, we went through our full can of seafoam spray. I want to shut the engine off right away to start the hot soak. All right, we're all done with the treatment. We just added a full can of seafoam spray, a high concentration through the carburetor throat. We treated all the intake valves, the chamber areas. At this point, all I need to do is put my air cleaner back on. We're going to let the engine hot soak for about 10 minutes, let the seafoam spray work in the chamber areas. Then when we're all done with the hot soak, we're going to take it out for a road spin to burn off all those hydrocarbon residues. That's it. Thanks for watching.